I'm Brenda Fries and welcome to Under the Shell. This 2010-2011 season was a year of growth for this very young team. Last year we didn't make the NCAA tournament and this year we did. We were eliminated in the second round of the NCAA tournament, but we had some big games. In December, we traveled to Purdue. Game time! Hoo, 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 hoo. One of our former players, Dre Mingo, now playing for Purdue, was struck down with meningitis the week before the game. Dre was in critical condition and lost some of her hearing but Dre recovered and showed up to watch us play her new team. It was an emotional day for her and us. We were down 11 with five minutes to go. It did not look good. What could we do to get back into this game? Uh, it was a gamble, it was a risk, obviously, to go to the full court press. Uh, one way or the other, but I, I think it was in the fact that Purdue hadn't seen it all, all game, it was a different wrinkle, and uh, definitely after we got a couple turnovers out of it, uh, it got our confidence back, it got us rejuvenated, and um, we didn't really have to think about our offense because our defense le led to it, so um, definitely a change of momentum for us. And I think when we started pressing and you saw them, uh, Purdue, show a little less confidence and us start building confidence, you have that feeling like this, this team, if, if we get some confidence, we've got a chance. When we saw a little confidence build, you could, you could feel the tide change. For the rest of the season, the players expected me to celebrate like that. Our game with Virginia tested the toughness of our young team. Hawkins gets the rebound and gets called for a foul. We were in foul trouble and lost the lead, but then DeAndre Chachuang made one of the biggest shots of the season. Down to 16 seconds. Right side. Cloud thought about the three. To DeAndre. She'll fire up the three. And connect! Money! She hit the three with 13 seconds remaining to tie it up. DeAndre's shot at the end of regulation helped us win the Virginia game. I, 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 need, I need to get my vitals back to normal. But even that shot took a back seat to the night the lights went out of Georgia. Have a seat. Get water. I've been coaching a long time and uh, have never been a part of the lights going out uh, with your team. Hydrate 20 minutes for the lights to go back on. All right, 20 minutes. That's a problem. Maybe that's why they're renovating this place after this year. The last play of the game, first of all, was a collective uh, group team effort coming together. Uh, so we all automatically went to the new play that we had put in at shoot around. Um, here we go. I turn to Coach Atkins. I, I tell him to put the players in, in the right position. All right. right now we got 18. We got Kim. We got DeAndre. I'm right there. I'm and right. we got Netta. Um, all of a sudden, Lynetta uh, comes out with her voice and says, Coach, Coach, I, you need to change, change me with Kim. Kim needs to be in the corner. I need to go through this slide. You know, just a, a vet stepping up, uh, you know, talking about what needed to be done. We drew it up, we ran it, we all executed it very well. Two of our biggest home wins were against North Carolina and Duke. It's a 23-point Terrapins victory over number 10, North Carolina. Kaiser, left side. She'll try the three and hit the three. Kim drives into the lane. Nice pass to Devon. Again, goes under the basket, makes the lay-in. Cloud, right side, Mincy, just inside the arc. Jumper is good for Lauren Mincy. Perfect rhythm. 
In the Duke game, we had one of our biggest fans in attendance, Chaz Packin. Let's go, Maryland! Chaz was born with cerebral palsy, but that has never stopped his love for Maryland basketball. Oh, by Taquan! Frenchie with the block! Who? Frenchie! Frenchie. That's her nickname. Okay. Uh, Mincy! Yeah. It's the jumper! Laura Mincy! Rebound! Barrett for three! Yeah. Nice to meet you, Coach Freeze. Nice to meet you. Awesome game I tonight. Heard you're a big fan. Yes, I am a diehard. That's uh, awesome. What did you men's think of the game? and women's what did you fan. Think of the game tonight? Awesome. Is it awesome? Anytime we beat Duke, right. it's awesome. Right. When we come back, we'll show you why Maryland basketball is a lot more than just basketball. I think I have to jump on school. I just want to Others are content to imitate. We'll continue to innovate. The Lexus RX. Why settle for a copy when you can own the original? Lease the 2011 RX 350 for 469 a month for 36 months with 39.44 due at signing. See your Lexus dealer. Time out. Yeah. We have five seconds left. We have to run the double down play. No dealer can defend this. Yes. Take your trade to CarMax, get their appraisal in writing. Take it to Antwerp and Toyota, and they guarantee they will beat the CarMax offer, or they will write you a check for not 1,000, but 2,000 on the spot. We have to double down. Yes! The Terrapin Club provides scholarship support to hundreds of outstanding Maryland student athletes, so they may go on to be champions in many different fields. My name is Christy, and I'm a champion. To fulfill the dreams of today's student athletes, we ask you to join the Terrapin Club and support those who represent the Terrapins with pride. Some of us will become teachers and coaches for the next generation of student athletes. Help the Terrapin Club support our student athletes with vital education support. Join the Terrapin Club today. Why does everyone meet at the Green Turtle? Between us, no brainer. The great food. Told ya. I think it's good times. You can't spell green turtle without good times. Actually, you can. For a limited time, kids eat free at the Green Turtle. Why do you like to meet at the turtle? Is it great food or good times? Say it with me, great food. Whoa, somebody's having a good time. Welcome back to Under the Shell. I wanted a program that was more than just basketball. And the reason why was that I wanted our players to be able to look back and reflect on their four to five years of their college experience to be um, some of the most memorable times they ever had. And I truly believe as a mentor and as a coach that um, it's all about giving young people, empowering them uh, to have just uh, phenomenal experiences in their time while they're here uh, in college. We do 100% of our work. We don't cheat, we don't plagiarize, we don't look for shortcuts because we're Maryland. We had a talent show in Greenville, North Carolina when we played in a holiday tournament at East Carolina University. And while we have had fun, I wanted to make sure the players understood the importance of Thanksgiving. So we asked each player to tell us what they were thankful for. And I'm thankful for the opportunity to set at Maryland, we have always tried to give back to the community. We visit schools and read to children and answer their questions. She's good. Am I good? I'm mm playing -hmm. basketball. I'm pretty good. <laughs> we also like to visit our friends at the Riderwood Retirement Village. Who's the tallest player on the squad and who's the smallest? I'm 6'7". I'm 5'8", 5 inches. Not only do we answer their questions, but we like to perform for them. 
R-Y-L-A-N-D, Maryland will win. <laughs> Thank you. Come on now, come on now. Our new strength coach, Kyle Tarp, likes to make the girls work, but he also knows when to give the girls a break, like the day he let them play dodgeball. Who's your pick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing heat. So we had a little fun today, and that was a reward for a great preseason. So give you guys a hand. Very good. At the University of Maryland, we like to try and visit players' families who don't live in the area. On our trip to Philadelphia to play St. Joe's, we visited Natasha Cloud's family. We had a great day. Natasha's mother told us about the ghosts that lived in the house. Some of our players were brave enough to go up to Natasha's room where the ghosts seemed to live. When we left the Cloud's house, somebody thought it was a good idea to have a snowball fight. I had no problem with everyone else pelting each other, but I warned them if I got hit, there would be discipline. You guys gotta stop! <laughs> I got food! We have five highly recruited freshmen this year. They got a lot of preseason publicity. Little did we know that another freshman, a walk-on, Sequoia Austin, would steal the spotlight on our television show during the season. We had the pleasure to surprise Sequoia with a present at Christmas. Sequoia was a walk-on at the beginning of the season, which means she and her parents paid for her education. At Christmas, her present from the University of Maryland was a scholarship, which paid for the semester. <laughs> okay. And Coach B came and said, gave me my own personal envelope. I was like, what is this about? Uh, I, well, I peeked in the envelope first, and I saw full scholarship in red, and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> second best day of my life after telling them telling me I was on the team now <laughs> this day thing oh my goodness when we come back to under the shell we will show you how you are not just a name or a number here at the University of Maryland time out Jack we have 5 seconds left we have to run the double down play no dealer can defend this yes Take your trade to CarMax, get their appraisal in writing. Take it to Antwerp and Toyota, and they guarantee they will beat the CarMax offer, or they will write you a check for not 1,000, but 2,000 on the spot. We have to double down. Yes! The Terrapin Club provides scholarship support to hundreds of outstanding Maryland student athletes, so they may go on to be champions in many different fields. My name is Kevin, and I am a champion. To fulfill the dreams of today's student athletes, we ask you to join the Terrapin Club and support those who represent the Terrapins with pride. Because you never know, some of us might go on to build the next great performance athletic brand. Help the Terrapin Club support our student athletes with vital education support. Join the Terrapin Club today. Others are content to imitate. We'll continue to innovate. The Lexus RX. Why settle for a copy when you can own the original? Lease the 2011 RX 350 for 469 a month for 36 months with 39.44 due at signing. See your Lexus dealer. Why does everyone meet at the Green Turtle? Between us, no brainer. The great food. Told ya. I think it's good times. You can't spell Green Turtle without good times. Actually, you can. For a limited time, kids eat free at the Green Turtle. Why do you like to meet at the Turtle? Is it great food or good times? Say it with me, great food. Whoa, somebody's having a good time. We are fortunate to have Chris Campbell as our new director of basketball operations. His fiance is Tina Cheatwood. Tina and her son Preston have attended many games. On one of our long bus trips, Tina suggested we take a test that would help our coaches and players be more colorful. 
Hey, my name is Tina Cheatwood. I am the Director of Research Development at the George Washington University. Something that Coach Freeze and I had talked about doing, um, there's this colors test. It's, it basically breaks down personality characteristics into four different colors. There's blue, there's gold, there's green, and there is orange. And the way that the test works is that you have high colors that you score that you're like dominant personality characteristics, and then you have low colors, um, ones that you're not. Um, as strong in or not, um, you don't have dominant traits in. Um, so I gave the team on the bus on the way up there this test and they filled it out. We're working on our two colors. You know, as I'm walking up and down the aisles, they're asking me, you know, is this right? Is this right? And I'm like, it's not right or wrong, it's who you are, it's your personality, which I, I thought I found hilarious. <laughs> and how's your husband doing? My husband, I'm shocked at some of his responses over here. You'd actually like to fill it out for me. I think the biggest um, value of the color test for um, the University of Maryland women's basketball team is that it shows you as individuals where their strengths and weaknesses are. Blues. Who, who's the blue? Woo! I was a blue. Yeah, I heard something like that's what Oprah Winfrey is, so you know, Oprah and I were pretty tight. Um, so Coach Freeze's primary color was blue. Um, so she is one who is people-oriented. She leads democratically. She invites in information from other people. She leads by consensus. And Coach Freeze is just perfectly matched with these set of players. Coach Freeze is open to just about any tool that can help her be a better coach. And one of those things is how do you motivate your players and what sort of behaviors demotivate your players. And she really cares about that. Hey, what color were you? I'm, I'm a blue. Sequoia is a super blue as well. So she scored 24 points, which is the highest you can score for a blue. And blues are, um, they're, they're feeling people. When Sequoia got her scholarship at the Christmas party um, and she started crying, the whole room kind of erupted and said, oh, you know, you're such a blue. And the blues in the room actually reacted too. And they went and hugged her. Big the hugs on Sequoia. Oh my God, thank you. Oranges. I'm a strong, strong orange. One of our oranges, our soup, what we call super orange, which means that she is the highest possible points for orange is Natasha Cloud. And so we're looking at Natasha and um, what works best for her is that she needs attention. You need to praise her publicly and praise her liberally. Um, if you need to correct something, it's better done in private because she'll be embarrassed. Defense that they're playing, so like even when you get it, just attack. Golds, where are the golds? Responsibility. Golds. Like Alyssa Thomas, who's a high gold. Golds are motivated by honor, by duty, things like that. And so she can look at Alyssa and say, How do I need to motivate this player? Ways to motivate her or to say, This is the right thing to do. I want competitors, I want winners, I want people who want to step up and make plays. Green, who's the green? Hi, green. Kimberly! Hey, Kim! Hey. <laughs> Kim Rogers is a green. So greens, are, there are a very uh, small percentage of people in this world that are green. Famous green people. Lincoln, oh, Einstein, Gates, Margaret Thatcher, Walt Disney, Eisenhower, Mark Twain. No sports, no basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the nerds. <laughs> So greens are all about knowledge. Greens are analytical. And Kim Rogers is very analytical. She's logical. So with Kim, you can't just say, I need this, 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 and this, go. She needs time to think about it. She needs time to process. So the high part is important because that's how you relate to me. The low part of it is how I know how to relate to you. So it, it's kind of how they both work together. <laughs> And one of the things that we had them do in part two, which was the bus ride back from Philadelphia, was to have them get into groups um, where they were the lowest. So all the low blues got into one section, all the low oranges got into one section. I had them um, try to explain um, their core values. Do you have what it takes to continue this legacy? To the color that they're the weakest in. I'm an orange, so all the low oranges, I'm, you know, I have a low attention span. You've got 30 seconds. Core value number four. We are open and honest. They, you know, did it really quickly, a bridged version. We're respectful and thankful always. Hey, group, why did you guys do that? Why did you guys present it in that song? Because they want to get straight to the point. And to the blues, uh, and you'll see on the tape there, they went and hugged all the blues first. Let's give the blues a hug. Oh, As they're a young team still, and um, they're still trying to get to know each other, and 
um, as that process goes along. We hope that this provides it, some tools and some references. It's not the answer to everything, certainly, but um, it's just one extra tool that they can use. It's not Kim. Well, no, no, it wasn't Kim. <laughs> it's a freshman. Finally, when we come back to Under the Shell, our fans give us their unique view of the season. I like this one. No, I don't. That's at the Hall of Fame. That's the Hall of Fame. While others are content to imitate, we'll continue to innovate. The Lexus RX. Why settle for a copy when you can own the original? Lease the 2011 RX 350 for 469 a month for 36 months with 3944 due at signing. See your Lexus dealer. The Terrapin Club provides scholarship support to hundreds of outstanding Maryland student athletes so they may go on to be champions in many different fields. My name is Christy and I'm a champion. To fulfill the dreams of today's student athletes, we ask you to join the Terrapin Club and support those who represent the Terrapins with pride. Some of us will become teachers and coaches for the next generation of student athletes. Help the Terrapin Club support our student athletes with vital education support. Join the Terrapin Club today. Why does everyone meet at the Green Turtle? Between us, no brainer. The great food. Told ya. I think it's good times. You can't spell green turtle without good times. Actually, you can. For a limited time, kids eat free at the Green Turtle. Why do you like to meet at the turtle? Is it great food or good times? Say it with me, great food. Whoa, somebody's having a good time. Time out! Jack! We have five seconds left. We have to run the double down play. No dealer can defend this. Yes! Take your trade to CarMax, get their appraisal in writing. Take it to Antwerp and Toyota, and they guarantee they will beat the CarMax offer, or they will write you a check for not 1,000, but 2,000 on the spot. We have to double down. I'm Daphne Lee. I'm from Silver Spring. I'm, uh, these are all my pictures that I took. Uh, this is a picture I took from the ACC tournament. This, um, I took pictures to show the fan spirit. It's wonderful to get the, the expression on these, on, on these ladies. They sit across from us. I really don't know who this person is. And uh, he's only been there once with this, with this mask on. Uh, Essen was trying, me to, trying to show me her muscle. My name is Judy Tarter, and these are my pictures of the women's basketball team. This is my favorite picture of all time. We're playing Duke, we're killing Duke, and Brenda has this grin on her face, and it's like she's trying not to laugh. <laughs> okay, this was um, the away game at Virginia. And the reason why I like this picture, and I didn't even know I caught it until um, I put it up on my computer, is all four of them are looking at the same shot. But their expressions are all different. They're all unique to that person. This was at the Duke game um, at Duke. I like this picture because you can see in the background all of our fans and all of our girls are standing up and cheering, but all the Duke fans are sitting down with their mouths shut. This one I like because it's during one of the games and they're, they're just sitting there giggling. They're having a good time. We must be winning. Now I really, really like this picture. Just them with their arms around each other and talking quietly. I like that because Brenda, her hair flying and you know, everybody's listening to her and I just like that picture of her in action. Obviously, someone made a three-pointer because everybody has threes on their hands. My name is Carla Anderson, and these are my pictures of the women's basketball. This is a picture of some of the freshmen showing their bonding together, and it just was very important because it shows how, what a family-oriented team we have. This picture is of Whitney Bays and Dara Taylor. This is from one of our socials. It was just a picture I had um, caught of them just goofing off and it just showed how well the team gets along. They're also roommates together so it just shows how well they are um, good friends and everything. 
And this picture here I just thought was very unique. It shows what the plan of attack was that Brenda had for the team at one of the games. Not always do, you know, being a fan, do you see what the plan is out on the floor. So I just thought this was very interesting shot. My name's Ron McKee and I'm from Rockville, Maryland. In the last four or five years I've been taking pictures for the Rebounder scrapbooks. I like this picture because I like the hair and the length they're off the ground. Every game I always take the tip picture. I like this one because of their ar arms forming the uh, V and both of them have their hand on the ball and the ball is stationary. Particularly like that one because this is her, this is the way she jumps up almost every time she goes to the basket. I'm Gloria Hong and these are the pictures that I have taken over the uh, women's basketball season. Okay, I, I took this picture because it shows how hard the girls work when they're playing. And those are ice packs on their knees. And actually, there were more than just these two players with the ice packs. Yeah, I took this picture because it shows uh, the diversity in our fan base. Uh, this is a picture of Kim that I took at one of the socials. Uh, actually, the first picture I took, she wasn't ready. And so uh, she prepared herself for this one. And this shows all the different pins for all the different games. Uh, this. Uh, woman also has it on her other sleeve, so that she has two sleeves full of pins. My name is Pam Prather and let me show you the pictures I took this season of the women's basketball team. This is Tina Langley and Lauren Mincy uh, at Duke this year. Tina's been very uh, demonstrative and I don't think Lauren knows what it's about or wants to be on the wrong side of Tina. <laughs> This one is taken at Eastern Carolina University. Uh, Sequoia Austin was so excited that her name was called in the second game. She threw her jacket. It must have gone six feet in the air and ended up landing on the curtains. I really like this picture. It shows Lynetta's tattoo that you very rarely see when she's playing the game, but I, I think it's very special to Lynetta. I like this picture. This was taken at the Gallaudet game. I really like it because Brenda has a nice smile on her face. She's relaxed. Not quite sure what Danielle's expression is about. Danielle is the um, recruiting coordinator, manager. And people often wonder what we do with all these pictures that we're taking. Well, a lot of the rebounders make scrapbooks for the players that they receive at their senior banquet. This one just really touched me about Kim. Uh, sports do not build character, they reveal it. Mary Lucas. Does anybody know who these two are? Thank you for those pictures from the rebounders. And thank all of you for watching this season with Under the Shell. I'm Brenda Fries.